And hey there, this is Francisco from One Sure Mobile Trends. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Samsung's own smart switch software. And the smart switch software is a dedicated tool that helps us manage our Samsung device and transfer data from any other iOS or Android phone to it. Though users often do tend to ask how to use smart switch to transfer their data or backup and restore their phone. And if you've actually got yourself some similar issues here, then that's likely why you're here today. So I would try to provide you with all of those answers right in just one video. In this ultimate guide for using Samsung smart switch, you will be able to master this software right out of the bat. So let us go ahead and dive right in. And before we get started, I just make sure to subscribe to this channel and to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our important tutorials. Now let's go ahead and begin. And the Samsung Smart Switch software is available on both uh, your desktop and mobile devices. And I'm going to be walking you through how to use both of them. Uh, well, the desktop version is actually great for managing our data by restoring any kind of backups. The app is actually better for phone-to-phone -phone transfer, and I'm going to show you that right now. So here's how that is going to be done. And the desktop application is mostly used to back up a Samsung device and restore an existing backup. Also, it can help you update your phone or sync it with Outlook, Mac, address book, and things of the like. Learn how to use Smart Switch on PC or any kind of computer, since essentially I'm going to be showing you this tutorial on the Windows computer. This is still going to be compatible with Mac, so do keep that into consideration, and the process should be most, mostly the same. So here is how that would go. First, make sure to go ahead and open Smart Switch, and this is exactly what it's going to look like. And make sure that you plug in your device. In this case, I'm just going to plug in my Samsung device first and foremost and as soon as you get to this point if you already have a samsung device plugged in it's just going to detect it right out of the bat and you're going to be able to see it available here and right here it is also going to ask you to go ahead and download the smart switch app onto your smartphone which you should be able to download onto any smartphone whatsoever however we're going to go ahead and open it install it and open it on, on the samsung smartphone first and then you're going to want to install that and this software is essentially just going to go ahead and do it for you and then once you get to this step you're and you're actually going to be able to choose exactly what it is that you would like to do. So you can go ahead and stick it with your Outlook account if you have one. You can restore any backups or you can begin a backup. And the first thing that we're going to do is in fact begin a backup. So we're going to click on the backup button and we're just going to give it some time in order to finish. So once it's finished, you're going to reach this page over here and it's just going to indicate that the backup has been completed and it's going to tell you exactly everything that it was able to back up the only thing that it wasn't able to back up at this time was my calendar and the voice memo probably because i don't have anything specific with those things however everything should be good and safe to go from here so once you have your backup just go ahead and click on ok and once you're here if you ever want to restore it you just have to click on restore and then and then it's going to tell you that the latest backup was made exactly a couple of seconds ago or like about a minute ago and you can go ahead and click on restore now and it's going to restore that data all the way back to your smartphone however if you wanted other methods of transferring maybe any any kind of backup that you might have on other kinds of services like itunes for example you can just go ahead and click on more and it's going to give you the option to do so though this part would be more of a manual procedure however this is essentially how you would back up and restore your data onto a samsung device using either on smart switch software on PC or Mac for that matter. So let us go ahead and move on to how to switch data between smartphones. Let's go ahead and move on to that. And if you got a Samsung smartphone, and this is how you would benefit the most from the smart switch software in order to move data from an old Android or iOS device to your new Samsung phone. And here is how that's going to be done. Just make sure to install the smart switch app on both phones from their respective app stores or play stores unlike. Though if you're going to be doing a wire transfer, you are going to need a USB adapter in order to connect both of them through just one cable. If you're just going to be doing things uh, the way that we're going to be doing it here, then all that you need is just to make sure that both phones are connected to a Wi-Fi connection, and the same one for that matter is usually better. And now open up the app, and then select a source. In this case, it is going to be our older phone here. And you can go ahead and choose which device will be the receiver, in this case, which should be a uh, new phone, and it's always got to be a Samsung phone as well. So do remember that, uh, that this is only going to work if you're going to transfer data from, from any type of 
smartphone to a Samsung device. On the old device, a one-time generated code is going to be shown on the screen and you're going to need to enter it on your Samsung phone in order to authorize the transfer. And for step number four, once both devices have been connected and recognized, all that you have to do is just go ahead and select which aspects and which files you would like to transfer over onto your Samsung phone and then go ahead and click on over here. Just give it some time and then once it's all done, you're pretty much good to go from there. Now, sometimes smart switch can actually get stuck during the transferring process, which is actually pretty annoying, while others just find smartwatch to still be a little bit of a hassle to use. So if that doesn't work out for you, I've actually got an offer for you. And this is going to be for another solution that is going to work just as well, if not even better. And that is going to be through our own mobile trans software. And you can actually do a direct transfer between phones on your computer without hassle this way too. And it works regardless of which smartphones you're using too. So let me go ahead and walk you through the steps. The first thing that you need to do is just make sure that you've got the mobile trans software installed on your computer. This is going to be compatible with both Windows and Mac OS, so there is no need to fret here at all. And so just make sure to go ahead and open up the mobile trans software and you're going to be introduced to the main menu. And then connect both of your phones, the old one and the new one, onto your computer and it should be detected right away. And then go ahead and click on phone transfer. And from here, you should go ahead and select your old phone as a source and the new one as the receiver, just like you're going to be seeing it here. And then choose what it is uh, that you would like to transfer over. And then once you're done choosing, go ahead and click on start. It's going to take a little bit of time. And then once that's done, you're pretty much good to go. And you can unplug both devices from there. And there you have it. Uh, those have been two pretty great ways of transferring data between devices. And the Samsung Smart Witch software is it's definitely going to be a great app, whether you use it on your phone or on your computer. And there's going to be a lot of utility to it as well. And that we're going to encourage you to, uh, to explore as well. But if it doesn't work for you, then do consider using our mobile trans software as it's going to be directly from Wondershare. And you can do a very simple phone to phone transfer as you wish from there. And that is going to be everything for today. And so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys on the next video later.